Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, we are back. Thank you guys for hanging in there with me over the last week as I was on vacation, but we are back and ready to keep grinding. This foot freeze promo with Road to the Final stuff is going on. Uh, we have a lot of stuff to talk about today. This Adama Traore SBC is kind of making waves. We got more foot freeze SBCs coming into this week. We have 11 Road to the Final items that are in packs, not just for a week. They're in packs for actually 10, more than 10 days. These guys are going to be in packs like throughout the next week. So I find that very interesting. I do think there's a possibility of team of the year's team of the year nominees coming this Friday as well. So I'm going to kind of put that into perspective and uh, talk about that today as well. This is the market outlook, boys, the market outlook for this next week. We're going to talk a lot of things related to content, related to what people are doing on the game right now uh, in terms of what there is to do, how the market is really kind of dead and how this game just feels sort of dead right now. We're going to talk about all that today. So again, it is Sunday, right? Weekend League sell-off is in full effect. Uh, Weekend League sell-off is in full effect. As we go ahead and look at some of these cards on Footbin, uh, a lot of the market has come down a a lot. That's I just said a lot twice, but that is exactly what has been going on. Check out this uh, Neymar, man. He was 880K after rewards. He was even pretty high on Friday, right? He was around 880,000 coins on the PlayStation, 690 on the Xbox. He has now dropped about 80,000 coins and about, you know, 60, 70K on the Xbox. He's down in the low 600s on Xbox and 800K, under 800K on the PlayStation. Now, again, he was this cheap earlier, but because of the Marquinhos that came out, it kind of bumped it back up in price. You're seeing a lot of cards get really, really low once again. Ronaldo is 119, Mbappe is 1.015. A lot of these golds, again, we talk about it every year, but these cards really come to die during this time of the year, right? Messi's gold card is 384,000 coins. That's crazy, right? Uh, Rashford, who has been 200K for the longest time this year, is 127. He was 200K literally 10 days ago. Now down to 127. Cards like this, they did great on rewards Thursday. We'll watch them again this week. A lot of these cards honestly bounce from the Sunday night time frame into the Monday, Tuesday time frame as well. I do think you might want to take a look at some of these cards tonight at Squad Battle Rewards, and we'll talk about that with out of packs cards later in this video as well. But uh, again, Weekend League sell off full swing. It's going to continue happening today on Sunday or tonight, Sunday into the day on Monday. Um, and, you know, the market is usually pretty low on Monday morning. So I don't think this is any crazy week. Um, that you have to be scared about buying players on a Sunday night or early Monday morning and w be worried about them rising, right? This freeze team, this is what is a little bit astounding to me. Uh, Bernardo Silva was 540 this morning and he's back to 580. These cards are desired, right? Look, he was 540, like right here, right? 539, now he's back to 580. These freeze cards are rare, they had a very, very low pack weight. They are desired by a lot of people because they link a lot of cards together, right? Casemiro, Verratti is really cool. A lot of people have done the Marquinhos SBC. So, he, I mean, he links the Neymar, the Verratti, Mbappe, a lot of those cards together. Um, this Lautaro is a very popular card. This Hazard, of course, um, with the Dortmund links. Uh, even Nani and Ture, like a lot of people are using and Gullivan because of the Voland objective. Um... I don't, if you see some low prices tonight, like if you see Bernardo Silva back in like that 530, 540 range on the, on the PlayStation 4 to show you this graph again, uh, down here, he was at 530, he was at 515 on the Xbox and now he's back to, well, it says 527, but he's, he's literally like 540. So watch the rebounds, uh, on, or watch the panic selling for some of these freeze cards and then a potential rebound after that as well. I like those kind of rising up this week. If you find some like Verratti, the cards that people want to use are the ones that are going to rise, right? That's why we watch golds like Joe Gomez, Rashford, and Pogba kind of bounce back during the week. Um, maybe some of these team of the group stage cards as well. Yeah, Kimmich. Wow, man, that's he's gone up a lot. Um, some of these, even Teo Hernandez has maintained his price really well. Of course, Diego Carlos is down a bit um, because of the other cards that we've had come out in this game. So, just keep an eye out on some of these cards that are out of packs, promo cards, informs, uh, record breakers, rule breakers. Like I was on the app yesterday on the last day of vacation for like a little bit, like maybe 10 minutes. And I went through this team and I was like, all right, Quadrado last night when I looked was like 172. Uh, 
he was like right here, man. He's like 172, and I looked at his two days before, and he, he had hit the mid 180s. So I bought him at 170 and 172, I think, and I sold him at like 183. So little profits like that you can still do. And I think this week with how kind of dead the game is, you're going to be able to buy cards and flip them kind of on, on the daily. You're going to be able to see more of the fluctuation trading. Uh, it should be better when there's less people on the game. That means these cards are more rare. So that's, it's a lot easier for them to fluctuate around, fluctuate around, you know, this card to fluctuate down 15 K. If you see them at 165, he could probably be in the mid 170s at some point. It's a very rare card, Pacey right back in the Serie A, and a lot of people like to use this card. So that's an item that I think you could see fluctuate. Rule breakers again. We, we talking through like our favorite cards to flip on the week. Rule breakers for me have to still be number one. Um, the first and second set of Road to the Finals you could get, get involved in as well as freeze. So just kind of watch for that normal market rise that we see from a you know Sunday night, Monday morning into the next part of the week. I think that's going to stay consistent with this week as well. Now, again, what else could be coming this week, right? Now, of course, we have got, and I'm actually recording this kind of early on Sunday, uh, the, the right mid has not come out yet. Um, but I don't think that SBC is going to really impact the market that much because it's just a foot freeze SBC. The Adama Traore SBC has impacted the market a decent amount. I think that's the biggest one besides Marquinhos. I would say Adama and Marquinhos are the top two foot freeze SBCs we have gotten. But continuing on this week, as we keep getting this updated, like loading teaser, uh, we've got a Leipzig player coming on Monday. Uh, we've got a French striker coming on Tuesday. So that could be pretty interesting. Uh, of course, that could be a lot of people. So we'll, I'll be curious to see who that is. But if we take a look at, you know, SBC stuff right now in this game of FIFA, a lot of focus is on these players, especially Adama after they updated him to have the high, high work rates and the left foot uh, as his preferred foot. A lot of people are doing this Adama card. A lot of people are. Um, so we're going to keep a, an eye out for the Spanish links and for some Prem links as well. Um, you know, Diogo Jota was at like 99,000 coins. And I think I looked at him and he was like, you know, 80K right now or something like that. Keep an eye out for those types of cards because the links to these foot freeze players have been rising uh, just because people invest in them for number one and number two. When there's a good SBC that the people like to do, you see people want to buy those cards to link them. So watch out for that possibility throughout the week this week. Um, if you're on the game right at 6 p.m., you might be able to do a little quick investment if there's no leaks and stuff um, with cards that link to the new SBCs. Um, but again, right now, there's just a ton of SBCs that are out. Fodder is up. Yes, you can technically craft and you can do upgrade packs right now. I would have rather opened upgrade packs last week during the freeze promo than right now during Rule to the Final, in my opinion. Uh, I would have rather crafted for those cards and, and rather packed one of those if I was going to pack something. Because uh, this Road to the Final team, yes, Team 3, it does look kind of cool. But again, there are some good players in there, right? Player selections have been pretty solid. But again, it's just... They're not getting upgraded until February, like two months from now. So it kind of dampens the mood on the game, I think, and for those players. And of course, this base icon upgrade is, is still out in the game. Now, all base icons are out of packs. So this is the way that, you know, people are gambling with icons right now. Um, and that's another thing that people are doing this week is, uh, along with SBCs, they're grinding icon swaps. But back to SBCs for a second. If you have 86 rated players... I think you have to get them out. 25K for a lot of these 86s is ridiculous. This is like peak. I think it's almost sell time for these 86s. Now, some of this high rated stuff, if EA released another sort of icon SBC this week, like you know how they did the base icon uh, non-repeatable, they released it like three different times. I'm not saying that this could happen soon, but they could do a mid icon where they just release it non-repeatable. But since we have the baby SBC repeatable still out, uh, and it's out for how many more days? It is out for 25 more days. So that's going to take us all the way through team of the year. I'm not entirely sure if they're going to release more icon upgrades. We'll see. Uh, but I think if you want to take the money on some 86s, if you have fodder, then go for it. A lot of other fodder, though, is still a bit inflated. 83s are still chilling. 84s are up some. Um, but it's just the, the name of the game right now, man. We have a lot of SBCs out and this stuff is really, really, really high. So, uh, I expect that to continue this week, unless EA starts dropping more tradable pack supply during the week. Now I have really not looked at any of these foot freeze challenges or anything like that. 
Uh, but I noticed that a lot of them were untradeable. Um, foot freeze challenge. That's untradeable. Okay. That one was tradable. That one was tradable. So some of the, some of the foot freeze SBCs are tradable, but a lot of them are not, but this would be a way that EA could drop some supply on the market to try to keep the fodder prices down a bit this week. I think that is a possibility that we could see more of the tradable packs for these this week. And they EA might try to bring SBC cards down a bit. Um, but again, in terms of what's going on this week, we just had those foot freeze SBCs. We got road to the finals that are in packs and it's kind of just the kind of dead, man. It's really just kind of quiet in FIFA. I know there's objectives to grind. People are going to be doing this Valen card because there's a lot of league one specials. It's a very intriguing card as well. You've got the Balassi that is out here. I'm probably going to work on Balassi this week because that's a cool card to have. Like both of these are cool cards to have. And if you haven't done them yet, I think people want to get those. Also icon swaps, right? I'm kind of behind on these. I got to get grinding on icon swaps. Hopefully people are still quitting after one goal, the golden goal uh, rule or whatever it is. Uh, but that's kind of, again, this week, what is going on. There's just, it's just really interesting that the content that is out in the game, there's a lot of content that is at our fingertips that we could, that we could play, right? We could be doing upgrade packs we could be doing these foot freeze sbcs but like for some reason it just is not appealing to people in this game and myself included right now the game unless you're a really menu grind kind of guy you like to do bronze pack method you like to grind those cards into the upgrade so then you can do the 80 plus player picks or whatever if you like grinding that and you're pumped right now then g freaking g's or if you love objectives g freaking g's but overall it just seems like right now i think people know that team of the year is coming you know, and that's why the market is kind of going down as well. There's not a lot of people that like are trying to buy things up. And that's why you're not seeing a lot of crazy market movements. Um, a lot of people lost coins on icons this weekend, myself included. I was trying to, I, I was up to 2.1 million coins, boys. And I lost 400K on one card. I bought a, I bought a prime Puyol on my companion app, being dumb, trying to make a big balls flip. And I had to sell the guy uh, under 700k. I bought him at a mill, man. I bought him at a mill, had to sell him under 700k. Pain, right? Pain. So that's, uh, I was doing great though, dude. I, I flipped a couple icons on vacation. I know you guys are like, dude, it was your vacation. You should have chilled. Sometimes you just have that itch to hit the 59th. I hit it a couple times. I was up to 2.1 mil. Now I'm down to 1.6, but you know what? We move. We'll get the coins back. It is okay in that sense. But I just kind of, again, kind of feel like that the, the game is in a state where it's just kind of quiet at the moment because not a lot of people feel like there's things to do even though there's actually a lot to do out there it just doesn't feel worth it to a lot of people or they're just getting tired of the game cycle uh at the moment now speaking of icons once again if you do want to try to trade with some icons uh this week probably will be a decent time to do it because there are still people in this game that will be trying out these new cards that have come out but i would just be very wary as we saw from the set number one of prime icons um Thursday rewards day, some icons went down like this Seedorf card. I was, I was actually, I bought one at 1.1 and he went down from 1.15 down to like 990 K or like a mil flat. He then did rebound into the weekend a bit more. But all I'm saying is if you're going to watch prime icons this week, just be very careful. Guys like Lineker, guys like Luis Hernandez that are new into packs, just be very careful with them unless it's a very um, desired a new icon or an icon that people want to use a guy like Vidic uh, would be something in there as well like uh, a card that could rebound uh, right away as a rare card that a lot of people want to try because he's new a new icon this year just watch out for those cards on Thursday just be careful with them but these guys will fluctuate during the week because they're still very rare and they will be good to trade with now I've talked a lot about the current state of what's going on uh, I want to talk about one thing that I mentioned earlier, team of the year nominees. And we're going to cover this pretty fast. Um, one thing we'll be looking for this week is a code, right? So last year when Footwatch tweeted out the code for these cards, they put it out. They said, yo, what are these? He's like team of the year or something. And they dropped the next day. Since Road to the Finals are in packs through next weekend, I think it's EA. Since we do have the Thief Pro we have the FIF Pro nominees. They tweeted out the nominees for the FIF Pro World 11. And we also had the final 11. I can, um, I don't have that pulled up at the moment, but the FIF Pro World 11 has been released. And that is what used to be 
EA's and, and FIFA's team of the year. But now, of course, we do voting. I expect them to do team of the year nominee again. I expect them to do it like last year because it puts more cards into packs and it gets you in that team of the year vibe, I guess. So um, these cards last year were basically just plus ones all around for the items off their golds. So some of these cards that have team of the year nominee items, they already had cards that were better than this, right? So we had an 89 Mbappe. You can't see he's kind of off the stream. We had an 88 Mane, but we already had like a 90 Mane inform last year during this time frame. And these are basically what the old UCL cards are like. Plus one stats all around. The pack weight was very high, but that, you know, with dynamic images, people love the dynamic images, man. So it did bring the market down a lot. So we'll be looking. I think we're expecting this this Friday. In my opinion, I think if EA wanted to do it this Friday, it would be a great time to do it. Uh, unless they're going to wait till next Friday because we're two weeks out, boys, right? Are we Are we two weeks out? I think we're, I'm looking at the calendar right now. We are We are two weeks out from basically team of the year. So this Friday, if EA is going to do it, would be a decent time uh, unless they wanted to run team of the year nominees in packs all the way up. Yeah, I think they kind of have to do it this Friday if they want to. So the 25th Christmas this Friday might be a time where EA puts team of the year nominees into packs. So we'll be looking out for that card design or any code that could drop in the game for Team of the Year nominees this week. So that's kind of the market outlook for this week, boys. Uh, it's good to be back, right? It's good to be back. Thank you guys for even watching the videos on the phone and stuff. The videos that we did on the phone, they're different. They were kind of fun, but uh, I just missed being here. So it's good to be back. Thank you guys for still watching the videos during that time frame, though. I appreciate it. We are back and better than ever. All right, boys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up, comment down below if you have questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.